I really feel uh, right now we're in a great time of transition. Uh, we already know this, you know, it's it's unfortunate, yet it's wonderful that uh, the great evangelist Reinhard Bonnke went home to be with the Lord last week. It's not a coincidence, okay? We know that when fathers and mothers and generals and heads are, are taken up to heaven or there's a graduation, some of the graduation, we know that when there's a graduation and, and there's a transition, some of the transition, the Lord's releasing us uh, uh, releasing mantles and impartations in this time and season. So I really believe that the Lord is, is saying in this 21 day window, in this 21 and now tomorrow's going to be 20. Now there's 20 of you watching. In this 21 day, 20 day window, it's time for you to watch. It's time for you to pray. Even as Jesus said, watch and pray because God's shifting things around. God is moving things around. There's, there's repositioning. There's realignments. There's acceleration. There's mantles. There's impartation. So you need to be sensitive. You need to be aware. You need to be close to the Lord. Cling on to Jesus. Come on. Let go of everything that you're excuse me, that you have, let go of everything and cling on to the Lord. And I believe that there, the fear of the Lord is being increased because God is saying in these 21 days, there's an intensity of prayer and fasting. There's an intensity of the power of God that's about to hover over us. There's an intensity because God's wanting to birth, say birth. God's wanting to birth us into the new year and into the new decade. Someone say, amen. Listen, I, I was supposed to be in the air right now. I was supposed to be flying, but I missed my flight by 15 minutes and it changed everything around okay i was supposed to fly from hawaii to san francisco and san francisco straight to new delhi india but i missed my flight by 15 minutes and it changed the pattern it changed the course it changed the direction now i I'm, i got to stay extra eight hours in hawaii so i could rest pray get reset and release this word of the lord to you in jesus name amen all right and now it's changing my course and my direction or i'm actually flying from hawaii to houston to new jersey to new delhi it's crazy and i believe that that's what god is going to do with you in these 21 days in these 20 days hear me now He's releasing impartation. He's releasing strategy. He's releasing consecration. He's releasing power so that you will be birthed and launched into the new year and birthed and launched into the new decade. If you receive it, say amen. Okay, so in this time, we know that Evangelist Rainer Bonke went home to be with the Lord. We know that there's transitions. There's passing on of mantles and batons and impartations. Someone say, I receive it. Someone say, I receive it in Jesus' name. So these 21 days, he's saying... I want you to begin to examine yourself, examine your heart, and somebody please share. Okay, share, 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 all right? And in this time, the Lord is saying, I'm beginning to examine, I'm beginning to cut, I'm beginning to prune, I'm beginning to, uh, I'm beginning to circumcise, I'm beginning to consecrate, because the Lord's going to launch you. Someone say, amen. Someone say, I am ready to receive a launching in Jesus' name. That's why I felt in the spirit, the Lord say, release a campaign. Of 20 days to 2020 release a campaign of 20 days to 2020 because I believe these next 21 days we're in 21 days now 21 days 20 days the Lord's going to release his oil of favor there's going to be open heavens there's going to be wisdom clarity revelation there's going to be power God's going to back you up as you become to lay yourself down at the altar God's going to release surprises and suddenlies because he's going to birth you into the new year and into the new decade in Jesus name someone say amen so right now all right i want to release over you second chronicles 2020 we know this verse second chronicles 2020 someone write that down second chronicles 2020 and they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of tekoa and as they went forth jehoshaphat stood and said hear me O judah someone say judah hear me O tribe of judah and you inhabitants of jerusalem Believe in the Lord God, so you shall be established. Believe as prophets, so you shall prosper. Listen. All right, these 20 days, the Lord is saying, if you hear the word of the Lord, like the tribe of Judah, what does the tribe of Judah mean? It's the lion, it's the kingly anointing, it's the tribe of Judah, it's the roar of Judah. Hear me, when you hear the word of the Lord, and when you release the high praises, when you release the praises of God, like the tribe of the lion of the tribe of Judah, when you hear the word and when you release, then... Uh, and when you believe in the Lord and his prophets, you will prosper. I'm telling you right now, God's about to release the realm of his prosperity. Because in these 20 days, he's releasing 2 Chronicles 2020. In these 20 days, he's releasing 2 Chronicles 2020, where he's saying... 
Believe in the prophets and you will prosper. Hear the word of the Lord and release the roar. Someone roar. Believe in the prophets and you will prosper. So God's about to release great prosperity as you attune your, your, your ears, your eyes. You fix your heart unto the Lord. He's about to release great prosperity. And he's saying in this time and in this season, hear the word of the Lord. Someone say amen. Someone say I receive it. So God's about to release the roar. God's about to release the shout. God is about to release the great breakthrough. Someone say breakthrough, all right? Listen, we know that mantles, impartations, all these things are being passed right now. Um, I mean, I'm telling you guys, it's not just a new year, it's a new decade, okay? It's not just a new year, it's a new decade. There's something great that God's bringing you into, okay? And this is the word of the Lord, guys. Prepare your hearts, prepare your ground, prepare your seed, prepare your nets, prepare your structures, get your house in order, get everything in order, because 2020 is a great year of launching, okay? Amen? Listen, guys, real quick, before I close this off in prayer, okay, I need you to pray with me, because I am about to fly up to India and Thailand in the next few hours, okay? I'm flying off to India and Thailand, all right? And also, number two, all right, so the next time you see me, I'll pr I'm probably going to be in Thailand, all right? And number two, um, this Friday, we have Suzanne Hinn coming to Open Heavens Orange County in Irvine. My gosh, I'm telling you, for Hawaii Glory Convergence, it was phenomenal. The glory was, uh, you know, I mean, there's no words to uh, comprehensively describe of what God did. You had to be there, all right, this last week, weekend. It was crazy. Fire! But uh, Pastor Suzanne Hinn was really the highlight. You know, she was the beloved of the Lord. We all are, but she was the highlight of this conference. And she got launched, okay? And she's saying she wants to come to our church and open heaven in Orange County. She wants to release the word of the Lord to our ministry, to our church. Amen? So if you're around, you need to come. All right, fly in. I'm telling you, people are flying in to be at this Holy Ghost meeting in Irvine and Orange County. This Friday, we have Pastor Suzanne Hinn coming, all right? And also, thirdly, send our ministry an email, okay? Send us an email, send us your prayer request, and we're going to saturate, we're going to print out your prayer request, we're going to saturate it at the altar in oil with all the other prayer requests, and we're going to continue to saturate it in prayer for the next 20 days, okay? I believe that there's a realm of Second Chronicles 2020. There's a kingly Judah anointing. There's a roar of the warrior praise and the warrior shout of God, and there's a realm of prosperity and a prophetic unction and glory that God's releasing over these 20 days. But you must heed the word. You must hear what he's saying, and God's releasing something powerful, something new, and something fresh in this time in this season these 20 days these 21 days god is setting you up for signs wonders and miracles if you believe it say amen listen thanks for watching now whether live or on the replay okay i'm believing right now the lord's setting you up for greater glory amen keep me in prayer i'm about to fly up to delhi india very soon and like i said i was supposed to fly up early this morning but I missed my flight by 15 minutes. And from there, I had to change my whole flight pattern. I'm telling you, God is changing everything around for you. God is switching everything around for you. You thought you missed it. But God has a divine appointment. And he's changing everything around for you. In Jesus' name. For your blessing, for your health, for your wealth, for your benefit, and for your well-being. The hand of God is upon you. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. These 21, these 20 days, God's setting you up for Second Chronicles 2020. The roar of the Lion of the tribe of Judah is about to break you through. Someone say, breakthrough. He's about to break you through. In Jesus' name, amen. So make sure you send us your prayer request because we are going to saturate it with oil, saturate it with prayer. Our prophetic prayer team is going to bring it at the altar of the Lord for the next 20 days. Believing that these 20 days are going to set you up for 2020 to launch you into the new year and the new decade. In Jesus' name. Guys, this is Ben Lim. I love you. Thanks for coming on. All right. I appreciate you. Aloha from Hawaii. God is setting you up for greater things. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Bye-bye.